It happens suddenly. A sheriff's deputy shoots through a front door, but it's the homeowner who's charged with the crime. And it was all caught on camera. Tonight, exclusive new details from inside a federal lawsuit alleging excessive force. News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us there's a key new development in that case tonight. We've learned that the criminal charges against the homeowner who was nearly shot have now been dismissed, and that's sure to fuel the argument that excessive force was used. The video is dramatic. August of 2018, and Cheatham County Deputy Doug Fox fires eight rounds through the front door of Mark Campbell's rural home. Do what, Mark? You good? In this case, this wasn't about a split second decision based on a threat. This was an overreaction and a uh, an inappropriate use of deadly force. Attorney John Morris says a judge this week finally dismissed assault of an officer charges against his client. There was no crime there. There should never have been charges. Now, in a federal lawsuit, Morris alleges the deputies were in the wrong. The body cam video is the key. That video shows deputies Fox and Chris Austin investigating two 911 cell phone hangups from an unknown location in the general area. It's after dark and the deputies approach Campbell's home. They knock but never identify themselves before calling out to Campbell. Come on out, Mark. What's up, man? We got a gun. What's going on, Mark? We got one too. At that moment, you see Sergeant Fox turn and pull his weapon. Seconds later, he fires. Do what, Mark? You good? The deputy said they saw Campbell open the door with a weapon. Campbell concedes, as you heard on the video, that he claimed to have a gun. He said he did so because he was scared and didn't know who was outside. The video only shows Campbell peeking from behind the door. No gun was ever found. And yet Campbell, who was nearly killed, was arrested for assault. Again, those charges have now been dropped. It came down to this. Deputies never identified themselves and no gun was found. Two keys that are sure to be part of that federal lawsuit. Nick Barris, News Channel 5.